Big Basket debuted in its first large format physical grocery retail store in Hyderabad just days after Reliance Retail Ventures acquired Metro Cash and Carries India division. India's retail business is still very much open to competition. Reliance has recently received a shot across the bow from Tata Group. There seems to be no stopping the Mukesh Ambani owned Reliance Retail Ventures Limited relentless march towards dominance of India's 1300 billion dollar retail market when the company last week acquired the Indian operation of German grocery wholesaler Metro Cash and Carry for 2850 crores adding 31 large format B2B outlets to its rapidly expanding physical retail assets however the Tata group has already sent Reliance a warning shot indicating that it will not tolerate Reliance's unchallenged market domination. Big Basket, an online grocery retailer that became a part of India's most diversified conglomerate after Tata Digital bought a 64% stake in it in 2021, has just opened a large format physical food retail store in Hyderabad as a test project. The first location uses Big Basket's exclusive cashierless self-billing system and stocks fruits and vegetables in addition to dry goods and FMCG items. Big Basket opened pilot click and pick physical stores for the fruits and vegetables segment in Bengaluru less than two years ago. So this is not its first foray into physical retail. However, this time it appears much more serious about entering the physical retail sector to complement its stout online presence in grocery retail. According to media reports, Big Basket co-founder V.S. Sudhakar stated that the company intended to open up to 24 locations by the end of the March quarter alone. Within the following three years, it is supposed to scale up to 400 stores, with 2,700 Reliance fresh big format grocery retail locations. Reliance Retail has an imposing presence in the physical retail market, making this amount, while significant, still a drop in the bucket. In actuality, Big Bazaar's demise has left a significant void in India's big box retail market, which Reliance has acted swiftly to fill. Although Amazon, a competitor in online shopping, was able to delay its 25,000 crore dollar offer to purchase all of the Future Group's retail assets, Reliance Retail was still able to secure the cream of the crop, the Big Bazaar operated store locations. In a swift moving maneuver in February of last year, Reliance abruptly terminated the leases on hundreds of Kishore Bayani's Big Bazaar chain outlets, claiming that Big Bazaar had fallen behind on payments, as many as 342 large format stores, including Big Bazaar and Fashion Big Bazaar FBB, as well as 493 small format stores, including Easy Day and Heritage stores, have been taken over by Reliance. These outlets' locations were within buildings that Reliance had earlier purchased completely or leased and then sublet to Big Bazaar. Reliance terminated the contract and entered the space when the faltering future group failed to adhere to the requirements. It seemed impossible for the rest to even approach Reliance Retail now that its main opponent was permanently out of the running. The Tata Group was a mere also ran in the grocery retail sector with their Star Bazaar hypermarket chain. Despite having a respectably significant presence in the lifestyle, electronics and durable stores, Big Basket's acquisition in 2021 has obviously altered the strategy. Big Basket has beaten even well-funded competitors like Amazon's Pantry and Fresh Brands and Flipkart Supermart head-on in online grocery retail with more than 40,000 stock-keeping units in its inventory. It also seems to have managed to stay competitive in the quick delivery market with Swiggy's Instamart and the Reliance back Dunzo, despite an initial scare. Big Basket will have an advantage when it ventures into the unexplored territory of physical grocery retail, thanks to its tech prowess and the profound insights it has gained into the Indian consumer after the gigabytes of data it has on their shopping preferences. The goal is to eventually draw in the millions of Indians who are either not tech-savvy enough to shop online or are wary of doing so, as it was with its pilot fruits and vegetable stores. The Tatas may have chosen to take a hedge bet on physical grocery retail through the Big Basket brand, even while maintaining Trent Star Bazaar hypermarkets, due to the high degree of vertical integration that Big Basket has managed. 
it purchases more than 85% of its perishable groceries directly from farmers and the collection centers also double as stores in many centers. One thing is certain, the fight for India's retail industry is far from finished, regardless of which horse the Tata Group ultimately backs in a large way.